Welcome to another episode of the Financially Free Investor, where you will learn information and strategies on how to become financially independent by investing in real estate, something that is not taught openly in our society today. Financial freedom matters so you can live a bigger life, retire early, and do what matters most to you. Get ready to hear tried and true methods to becoming financially free with your host, Jordy Clark. So the reason I am starting the podcast was because at our Couples Mastermind event in Austin earlier this year, Mike and Kara did an exercise with us. And at first they were like, okay, we need you to all commit right now to playing full out. So no matter what we tell you to do, you're going to do it. So they're like, okay, you need to close your eyes. You've just been in a terrible car crash and you've died. You need to separate from your spouse because I was with Courtney and all the spouses were together. So Courtney and I separated and they took us into this other room. There was a theater in the house we were at and they made us all lay down. It was dark in the theater. They had the lights shut off. And so they said, you've now died. Your body's going to be taken away. And they just started asking a ton of questions. What was left unsaid? What was left undone? What do you regret? Just a lot of these like end of life questions where as long as you're like actually participating fully, which we were, I was like, man, I don't necessarily have any regrets. I think I've done a pretty good job at, you know, I've always been maybe a little bit unconventional and, you know, I used to chalk it up to ADHD, even though I've like never been diagnosed with ADHD, but like, I've just never fit the mold of like, I never bought into, you need to get, you know, good grades to get a good job. Uh, well, that's not true. When I was trying to get into medical school, that was totally... I was bought in. But after coming back from Chile, I was like, oh no, I'm going to go business. And anyways, and I was like, I don't really have any regrets because I feel like every stage and age, like I've tried to live a life that's true to me, not somebody else. So the one big thing like regret wise I had was, man, my two little kids, which at the time Brindley was six and Noah was almost two. Like I just pictured them and imagined them going through life. You know, they'd be plugged into society, how society is wired and they'd go to school and they, you know, they wouldn't have obviously a mom and a dad and grandma and grandpa would be taking care of them or, you know, however our estate plan is set up, then they would, you know, apart from missing us and me missing them, the one thing I was truly sad about was I can't teach them because they're still so young. Like I can't teach them. There's a different way. There's a way that you can live a life that's more true to yourself just by investing in real estate, finding cash flowing assets. It's not radically different. You know, you could even continue to keep a job yet. So many of us just go through life and we're just programmed to be little machines, little cogs in the machine. And, you know, at the end of the day, like what really matters, it always comes back to family. It always comes back to time. It always comes back to love. Like those are the core things that keep us together as humans. And just the sadness of my kids not being able to learn like, hey, if you just sacrifice some stuff early in your life to create other revenue sources that reoccur, like stuff opens up. You can take vacations when you want. You can go do what you want, when you want, with who you want, for however long you want, once you've invested for long enough. And that's when I feel like life truly starts going. And like just being able to be in Austin that weekend and have this maybe transformative experience where you were growing as people. And, you know, we even had it in Cabo six months before where, you know, we just had a phenomenal time. We were in this massive house on almost on the beach and, you know, we had a chef come in and, and just this amazing like houseman that took care of anything we needed. Like if we needed ice, they'd run, go get us ice. And, you know, they'd make us food and we could just have conversations and have a good time and then, you know, not have to worry about, you know, oh, what are we going to make for dinner and who's doing on dishes duty and like all these little things like money can make things easier. So getting back to my earlier point, I just really like it hit me like I'm never going to be able to teach this to my kids. And as the exercise progressed, they started asking other questions like if you could go back what would you change if you could go back, right? And obviously this is coming back from the dead. You know, how would you be different? 
who would you become? What would you do? And they it just started asking us question after question. And, you know, of course, everyone in the room and they had put sheets on us, which was probably the most emotional thing. Like, you know, when they put sheets on dead people to cover their bodies, I lost it. I was crying. Everyone was sobbing. Just thinking through like, man, what was left undone that I can now go back and take action on. And, you know, it's almost like having a near death experience that we had, but it was all just emotional or so I was like, you know what, w one thing I can control, one thing I can do is I can create the roadmap that my kids can follow, you know, in the event of, you know, I hopefully I don't ever have an untimely death or anything, but I have this path that, you know, I've kind of designed for our life and a lot of other successful people who, you know, are living big in every area of their life are on the same path. And I just wanted some avenue or something where I could teach my kids this. And, and the podcast kind of came to light and I, because I was like, man, this is great. I can record it. They can see me. They can hear me. Um, I can bring other guests on that, you know, have similar ways of thinking. And, you know, I can shape and help them create their future from beyond the grave. And, you know, when you start thinking longer term than just your life and the impact you can make, I was like, man, not only is this going to be great for my kids, but imagine the impact I can have on my friends. And these are conversations that I wouldn't normally have time to have with 50, 100, 500, however many people at, at one time, right? Because time is finite. And this is just a way that I can help more than just my kids. And I can help my community and my friends and my family and everyone that's important to me is going to listen to this. They may not listen to every episode, but who cares? Like, I'm, I'm going to pour my heart and soul into it for a few hundred episodes and see where it goes. And hopefully, you know, not only can I impact the future of my kids, but I can impact the future of my grandkids and, and my friends and their kids and their grandkids and just all of the good that can come of it. So really, that's why the podcast started. That's why I named it the Financially Free Investor because you have to invest. In today's day and age, you can't save a million dollars. You can't save $200 a month by skipping your lattes or your Jamba juices or, or whatever. Like That's just not a sustainable way to create lasting impact that allows you to go where you want, when you want, you know, at age 35 or 40. Um, like I know friends that are 40 that are beyond financially free you know, times eight or 10, where like they can go and take a three month road trip and their businesses come, they come back to their businesses and they're grown, right? So like just having this roadmap for my kids and everyone was really why I started the podcast. And it was such a transformative experience that I just wanted to hop on, record this quick episode and let you guys know, because I've been getting a lot of questions on that from a lot of my good friends. You know, they're like, hey, this is great info, but you know, why are you taking your time to do it? And, and this is this is why. So there we go. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Financially Free Investor. If you found value in this episode or know someone who would find value in this information, please share with them, subscribe, and send us a review.